Hello everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I got something a little different for this video. This is the um, Nook 2 Android chip on the Nook Color. So what this is, is it's CM7 and it's uh, you can order these specifically on like on Amazon. They're the uh, N2A chips. Uh, so they already have everything set up for you. You don't have to actually write the image onto the SD card and set everything up with the market and all that. So actually I did a video on that earlier. If you saw my other video, I'll put a link in the corner. That's uh, sort of how you do it with the or like if you want to do it the manual method, method you can uh, check that out but if you want to save yourself all the trouble you can just get the N2A cards and it has everything set up for you already you just put the um, card in the Nook Touches micro SD card slot and then uh, you don't lose the functionality of the Nook at all because it's a dual boot card a dual boot card you can actually boot up the um, Nook's regular system and or you can just remove the SD card and you can boot up the regular Nook system that way so it adds this whole new uh, functionality to it. It essentially turns it into a tablet. Um, so these are all pre-installed apps, actually. I didn't install any of this stuff. So that's what's cool about this is it comes set up. you got all this different um, apps set up for it already. You've got the uh, Flash player that supports Hulu. So here's the bookmark for Hulu right here. Um, I tried it a couple times. I'm not too patient with this stuff. It's It works, but it's a little bit laggy. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's already got the Dolphin web browser, as you can see, set up on here, so it doesn't have the crummy Android browser. I really like the Dolphin browser. It's got the uh, uh, tab browsing, and you've got, uh, you just got a better uh, feature set than, um, you know, the regular stock Android browser that comes on the uh, Note Color's regular functionality. So you got these um, hotkeys down here where you do all your navigating. You can actually hide them if you want, but uh, we'll keep them up because you need to use them for, for the most part. So some other stuff here. This is exactly like, like I said, this is exactly how it is set up. All you do is put it in and then you uh, sign up with your Google account to be able to download stuff from the Android market. And then there's also, uh, you know, you've got all the other setups, uh, the Android apps on here. you got your regular contacts, calendar, um, but there's all these other pre-installed apps. So there's also the uh, Nook for Android app already pre-installed on here. Um, so like I said, you can just revert back to your regular Nook if you want, or you can use the Nook Android app to read your Nook books. Um, it's pretty similar to the Nook's, uh, Nook Colors functionality, but it's got some different. Uh, it's got a few different uh, differences. Like the the main thing is, uh, actually, obviously, you can tell it's not as fast. Um, it's got these animated page turns for one, so it's got the. Uh, you can pull the corner over. Do that kind of thing. Um, what I really like though is it's got the uh, landscape mode. It's actually got the two page lands page landscape mode as well. And it has the fancy page turns. So that's kind of weird. The regular uh, Nook Colors functionality does not have a. To, or a landscape mode at all. It's kind of weird that they never add that, yet they have it for their Android apps. Okay, so like I said uh, earlier, this is a dual boot card. Uh, so you can actually just, when you turn it on, you can, so you just turn it on and off standby like that. But if you want to shut it down, uh, you can go through the boot cycle and you can set it to boot up on the regular Nooks functionality uh, instead of the SD card. So let me show you how that works. Obviously you power it off and this is going to take a second, so I'll see you on the other side of the break here. Okay, so um, when you power up your Nook, you get this thing here at the second. It says uh, hit the any key in five seconds. So you hit the key, and then it will bring up this uh, boot option. So uh, it sets the EMMC is actually your Nook's internal, like the regular stock Nook. That's uh, if you want to use that functionality. And you hit the uh, button up here to change it to, or actually you hit this button here. These ones, um, the volume buttons move the selection, and this one you choose if you want it to boot from the SD card or from the internal memory. You can also, if you want, uh, if you have it powered off, you can just remove the memory card, and you can boot it up into the EMMC memory as well. So once you do that, you just hit the power, the volume button down a couple of times, and then it will boot into the Nook regular stock functionality where you can get, you know, regular Nook updates and do all the um, everything you would normally with the device. So just having the CM, uh, the N2A card is just sort of like a bonus feature, having all the uh, the an added Android features on top of the Nook's uh, regular functionality. Okay, so there are like three different cards. There's an 8GB card, a 16GB card, and a 32GB card. Uh, they have the varying prices. This is a 16GB card. It's $50. So you got to figure the, the regular microSD cards cost about $20, $25 anyway. So you're paying about 20, 25 bucks for the uh, support you get from uh, the customer service and wh what you get here with all the Android apps pre-installed. So you've got the Adobe Reader for that it works well, well for PDFs and stuff. It's a very basic app though. It doesn't have any advanced features. So it's got the other e-reading apps on here too pre-installed. You got the Amazon Kindle app. You got Aldeco. That's a really good uh, app for EPUB ebooks. And you have also, of course, you got the uh, Google apps on here. So you've got the uh, Google Books app. Um, so this has also got uh, set up for some games on here. Obviously, you got uh, Angry Birds. So uh, this runs on, um, let's see here, settings, uh, CryoGen. So it runs CM7. 
can't remember what the exact version is here. Okay, yeah, so it is uh, version 7.1. So that's uh, another thing you can kind of keep updated with the uh, different stuff by uh, going with this. Let's see here. Uh, so, like, if you don't want some of the stuff, like I never use Windows Hotmail, so uh, I would just remove that. You come up here. Uh, that's one way to remove it. Um, that's just actually if you hold it longer you get the option to uninstall otherwise you gotta go to manage settings and then that's how you remove uh, all these apps because you're probably not going to want to use all these obviously it's just set up for um, default this is what uh, kind of stuff you get going for you so obviously it's got the other Google Ma apps you got the Google Maps, Google Market so uh, one thing I noticed is the Google Market has got this weird new layout uh, so there's some fix that I uh, noticed here on the web browser so it has a bookmark for so if you just open a new tab it already has a bookmark for Nook 2 Android so I have it open over here um, so I guess they had some, there's some thing with that new market, there's a fix right here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix right here and then uh, I'll be back on the other side. I'll show you what the Android market looks like with the fix. Okay, so I followed the directions over on N2A and set up this new Android market. Uh, so it, it has, uh, I guess, uh, better app compatibility so you have uh, more apps to choose from. I guess the other one was had some issue or something. Uh, and it also has movies on here, so I guess you can rent movies from the uh, Google Market thing here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I haven't really messed with this yet. I um, guess you can watch the movies in here. Let's check out the preview. So yeah, these tie in with the YouTube thing. Should probably go this way. So Netflix also works on this. Uh, they can't pre-install Netflix apparently reading the blog or their website. So you have to go download the Netflix uh, app on your own. So yeah, I guess this does appear to be working alright. They're bringing back the old Conan. Alright, so um, let's go back here. So yeah, that's one thing with the Google Market though. You got some uh, options for movies now too apparently. Uh, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and move on to some other stuff here. You've got the email apps installed, you've got the news apps. Uh, Dropbox, I use that a lot personally. Uh, you got the calendar widget here. So you can, this is just how it comes default. You can set up how, stuff how you want. Like you can change the background image if you want. You can uh, uh, put different widgets on here. So essentially getting the uh, C, uh, CM7 on here essentially turns it into a like a full-fledged uh, Android tablet. Um, you know, you got the, uh, that comes with these radio apps too, Pandora, uh, TuneIn Radio, and um, there's the YouTube and Sports Center. So uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to choose from on here. Uh, that's what's kind of cool about it, I think. Uh, you don't have to mess with pre or installing all this stuff yourself. It's kind of an easier setup for those who don't want to mess with all the uh, um, legwork of getting the apps from um, online and such and getting the market working. But it's really not that big of a deal. If you want to check out my other video, you can uh, check that out, the CM7 video. Um, that's pretty much if you just the do-it-yourself one where you can uh, write the image onto an SD card. But uh, for those of you who do want it to be easier, I think these uh, uh, N2A cards are actually pretty darn cool. Um, everything's already set up for you, so you just got to enter your um, you know, Google account and you're ready to go download apps from the Android market. So uh, that's a pretty cool setup. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to put the list of apps and all the uh, write some other details on the written review. So check that out for more details. Thank you for watching.